Good evening, Excellency, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Cambodia Global Dialogue of Southeast Asia TV. For those who are first uh, to see this show, let me just give a, a bit of background. This initiative uh, came about as a result of uh, Southeast Asia TV, and the idea is to try to learn from the experience, from the know-how, from the exposure of uh, uh, personality, whether they are international or they are working in the region, or for that matter, national personality uh, who have experience. And we hope that in this frank uh, exchange, we'll be able to discuss on certain thematic and hopefully certain idea transpire, certain uh, initiative come about, certain good practice uh, may arise. And we hope that some of the viewers out there would find some of this uh, idea or uh, best practice uh, helpful in their life, in their business, or in their uh, development work, whether they are in the government, the private sector, or civil society. Uh, today, the thematics of, uh, of our show is about private equity fund in Cambodia. And we have the pleasure uh, to have with us a very experienced uh, seasoned professional uh, coming to discuss with us, to have a talk with us on private equity fund in Cambodia. Uh, his name is uh, Mr. Uh, Douglas Clayton, and he's the founder and CEO of Leopard Capital. Uh, welcome, Douglas. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Well, uh, Douglas, um, before we, we move on to the substantive discussion, perhaps uh, you may want to say something a, a bit about yourself, your background a bit, when you come to Cambodia, and how do you end up uh, creating Leopard Fund? Sure. I'm an American, and I've been living in Asia for 25 years. I've lived in four different countries. I've been working in finance um, all of that time. Um, I've watched different countries go through transformation. Um, 25 years ago, all of Asia looked a little bit like Cambodia today, but now certain countries are, are well in advance. And I decided that Cambodia might be the next country to progress, to, to grow and transform. So three and a half years ago, I moved here and I set up an investment group called Leopard Capital to try to create the first Cambodian investment fund. And we launched that um, in 2008, and uh, it's gone quite well. Well, you know, for a lot of us, we, for the last, since 1993, we, we see a lot of foreign investment coming into Cambodia in the form of uh, FDI, foreign direct investment. We, we see factory building up, we see shoes factory, garment factories, so that's what's in our mind, foreign direct investment. And then in the last couple of years, we've been uh, sort of like uh, hopeful in the sense that in a few years' time, uh, we will have a stock exchange, which is more, you know, selling, raising capital through stock exchange. So you have the both extreme. And somewhere here you are, private equity fund. You're not, you know, uh, subject to the listing of the stock exchange. You're not a direct foreign investor building a factory, you know, uh, to, to produce things. You are somewhere in between. I think it's important we dispel this, this myth, this uh, confusion mm -hmm. in the mind. Maybe you want to say something a bit, the, the difference of a, 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 a capital fund. Sure. Most of the businesses in Cambodia are either family businesses or multinationals. Uh, the the uh, difference with a fund is that we, are, we, we invest in a business to sell it later, whereas a family business may hold it for the next generation and pass it to their children, or a multinational may be in that business forever. But a fund is sort of a, an interim source of capital. So our objective is to take shares in a company, to grow that company, and then to sell it to somebody else, possibly to the founder of the company, or possibly to a, a multinational, or possibly list the company on the stock exchange. But we're always looking for our exit from the investment. Um, secondly, usually we don't take the majority control of a company. We, we take a, a, a minority position, less than 50%. Um, and we contribute to the growth of the company, but we don't try to run the company. We uh, back somebody else who knows that business better. We provide capital advice and assistance and try to create value in the company so that we can sell at a higher price later. Private equity fund mean what? Mean there are private investors behind. And private investors are all around the world. Uh, what determine, what motivates them? What 
make them decide to pick a particular country. You know, in this case, Cambodia. You as a, if, if a fund uh, creator, a fund manager, what would you go to convince them why Cambodia is, is one of the country they should invest? First, let me explain. We, we raised money in, into our fund from overseas investors. We did not accept any money from Cambodian investors because our, our mission was to try to bring foreign investment into the country. Um, so we went around the world. Um, I went to 55 different cities uh, in the years 2008 um, and 2009 uh, telling the story of Cambodia. These are professional investors, sophisticated investors. Uh, so they make investments around the world in all different, in different, usually in larger countries. But most of them knew very little about Cambodia. So I had to explain the story. And in most people's mind, they associate Cambodia with the situation 30 years ago, the tragic period of Cambodia. And they haven't heard too much about it since because it's a small country and it doesn't make the economic news very often outside of Cambodia. So I had to explain the basics of the country, what was special about Cambodia, why, even though they were interested in China or mm. India, larger mm. places, mm. why they should put part of their money into a, a small country that yeah, they yeah. hadn't really understood. Yeah, yeah. So it was, it was an educational process. But there are certain things about Cambodia that are very compelling, which is why I chose to live here and to, to base my career, my future career here. Um, the key thing is we, we explained that this is one of the most open economies mm -hmm. in Asia. Mm. Uh, if you were to do business in China or India or Vietnam or, or Thailand, as a foreign investor, you're subject to many restrictions. Cambodia is much more open, so foreign investors can invest here and have the same rights in most cases as local investors. This is not normally the case, and it's, it's very appreciated by those foreign investors like ourselves that are here. So that was one uh, thing I had to explain to people. Secondly, I had to explain that the population in Cambodia is very young. Um, about two-thirds of the people here were not alive during the tragic period. Mm. They're the young generation, uh, and they have a different objective, in my view, for, for what they want this country to be. So they're looking forward, and when other people look at Cambodia and they look backward, I think most Cambodians are looking forward. So I had to explain that this is a country that can change very rapidly because of its youthfulness and uh, there's a, a great degree of, of hunger for education. Mm. People want to get ahead. Uh, so there's sort of uh, a work ethic here, which um, I think is quite positive. Um, and then I had to explain about the resources of the country, that this country is capable of producing a lot of food, um, mining, uh, possibly oil, uh, has a lot of tourism sites. And so there's a lot of natural attractions to the country which can be developed and can make it a wealthy country one day. Yeah. Many people think of Cambodia as a poor country. Mm. I think of it mm. as a future wealthy country because an open economy with a young population and a lot of resources has all the ingredients. Uh, now that it's politically stable, it has the ingredients to be a very attractive place to invest. Mm. So you've been up and running for three years already so far, right? Yes. Four years. Three, three and a half years. Uh, three and a half years. Uh, you, the fund is about what thirty some million, and uh, you uh, tell me some success stories. Sure. 